What's up, people? Guys, if you choose your weapon combination and this is a staff dagger, you are on the right place. I play this game since it's released on the Korean region and I play this game with the staff dagger weapon combination. I have a lot of knowledge about these weapon combinations and I'm ready to share you guys and in the future you will find a lot of, a lot of uh, guidelines and a lot of modifications, a lot of updates and anything what will come on the Korea as the staff dagger nerf or the buff I will share you on my channel so if you're the staff dagger player this is the right spot for you guys first I want to start it with the skills uh, progression this is the highly important for the new player as you as the new player to know what type of the skills you have to level up first when the server and the game is gifting you uh, the skill enchants while you're leveling up second etap for us will be the uh, moment I will explain each of the skills I will show you the each skill explanation how they are working uh, as the stuff and how they are working on the dagger uh, dagger uh, skills and after that I will show you the combination of the staff dagger skill rotations the based on the specific situation what you can uh, what you can face in throne and liberty so this video will not be the short one and get ready to get the knowledge and the get the knowledge player for staff dagger in throne and liberty but before that i want you guys ask you to subscribe my channel i have 2000 hours of korean experience i have one of the best and powerful character on that region i have a lot of knowledge about throne and liberty i'm making a lot of guidelines which helps you to progress your character as fast as possible so hit the subscribe button and now let's get back and watch the video all right guys first we have to start with the skills progression and the panel will looks like this once you will get the your first active skills you have to focus this fireball this fireball is highly important since once you will make the specialization for this fireball you are shooting a lot sorry you are shooting a lot of the damage check this one check the damage 50 uh, 31 000 damage and without the specialization this is not a something special skill it does not hit that much for the target but with the specialization it's amazing just without specialization nothing special you know it's it's not something what you have to focus so uh your leveling up process your first and main uh, farming skill and leveling helper skill and even in the future at the pvp skill will be this uh serial firebomb you have to level up uh, as higher as you can for the active skills second you have to f level up this infernal wave since it's make the combination uh, how much uh, stacks it's have on the target this infernal wave uh, does way more damage so yeah you can see the weapon combinations at the later of the video and i'm talking uh, i will explain those uh, things uh, at the stage of the video now let's go to move to the uh, this stage and then your skill have to be uh, this. Ice Pier is highly important skill. Once you will change the specialization for the Ice Pier, it will do a tons of the damage. After that, guys, once you will have access to get the high forts at the high level, you have to do it. This is a highly important, most important skill uh, in your staff dagger weapon combination. And this skill gives you actual power as the staff dagger. This is the highly important skill since it gives you 45 uh, maximum damage. And it's also it gives you 460 hit accuracy chance and 460 evasion for melee mage and the range this is amazing this is super skill they buffed the staff dagger uh, weapon combination for uh, to make the specialization for this skill like it is so this will be your main focus then you have to go to the judgment uh, and then after that what you see here you can just choke anything what you want i would say just ice firebomb since if you freeze the target it gets it decreased the evasion of the target next guys for the uh, passive skill skills you have to focus for assassin uh, instincts this is highly important skill you have to start this skill to enchant on your passives and you have to maximize this skill as much as you can then if you are planning to play the early stages pvp you have to focus on the shadow walk this is also important skill it's increasing your evasion and if you don't focus on the pvp you have to uh, uh, increase the uh, flame uh, condensation this passive it's increasing your pv damage a lot a lot so uh, this is on you and you have to choose it 
rest of that you have you can focus while you reach these skills this is the final level skills before you reach them uh, and you will have some uh, green books for example and you know you cannot spend the green books here you can focus this max mana which increasing your HP and mana this is really good skill and once you will reach the maximum level guys you have to focus this forbidden sanctuary and this uh, wrathful edge it's increasing you a lot of amount of the uh, critical damage for you and it's increasing your skill damage for the dagger side this is not something that i should have to increase if you don't want to if you want to play as the range and guys if you're first time staff dagger player try to play as the range since you will get way more pleasure and after that you will get the knowledge how to play with the me uh, close range with the melee skill so if some people are uh, the, who wants to play with the dagger skills also are taking this skill since on the purple it gives you a, uh, the silence chance on the target and this is really really good skill next of them you can just copy what what i have here and it is not something that you have to bother at the early stages of the game so i told you guys everything now let's watch and let me show you each skill description and each skill specialization how they are modifying once you will uh, specialize those skills so this will be also important for you to get the knowledge about the specialization and maybe you did not choose the class yet and it will help you to choose the weapon combination
until you watch the video you guys have to know one important thing in throne and liberty dagger is based now on the two debuff one is the poison venom injection and the second one is the thunder cloud what the skills you will see in the next few minutes is based on those skills for example this is the venom injection and when you are hitting it it's increasing the debuff of the venom a poison and the second one is the thunder cloud like this one you see it is the thunder cloud so any of those skills on the dagger are based on thunder cloud damage or based on the poison damage okay now let's continue video and you will understand by yourself
Alright boys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you get a lot of knowledge about staff dagger weapon combination. If yes, hit the like button and overall guys, if you appreciate my hard work about Throne and Liberty, hit the subscribe button. And guys, again, the my main class and main weapon combination is the staff dagger. So if you are planning to play with this weapon combination, this channel will help you so much even in the future. As always guys, see you in the next video.